Now, I haven't done an unboxing video for a long time and I've received a little present or a little parcel from TPI. Now, this could be a couple of things. First of all, I'm not even going to look at that. <laughs> now, first of all, it could be my flue gas analyzers coming back from calibration which I handed in to uh, Nigel from TPI at FEX last week. Or it could be what I've ordered from FEX last week. But my word, there's some tape gone on this. Is there an easy way of getting in the box? <laughs> it's like, it's worth a million pounds. What's that bit out? Hard to rip that way. Anyway, I'll go this way. Just rip it up. So, let's have a look and see exactly what it is. Well, it's not my flue gas analyzer because. It's in a little white box, which is a bit small for a flue gas analyzer. I've ordered four of them. Two, three, four. And they are the SP323s. Now, if you don't know what they are, ooh, they come in a little fancy case. So, they're all the same, so let's get rid of the box for now. Are you ready for what they are? If you don't know what uh, an SP323 is? -da! The clip-on temperature probes. So that's what I've ordered. That's warranty, but I don't need to do that because now you'll know when I bought them. What's the sticker? the other thing. Oh right, okay, so I kind of get that now. So if you want it for cold water you put a blue one on and if you want it for hot water you put a red one on. I'm guessing that's what the stickers are for. So this is the SP323 um, clip-on probes which will connect to my TPI app either the one on my iPad or the one on my phone. Now, I bought four of these because I'm going to be using them to do a video on the Honeywell Residio balancing valves at home. So I wanted to do the temperature on one side of the house and the temperature on the other. So I bought four probes and I'll probably lose two of these to Tom because he loves his TPI stuff. So, Let's get the iPad and get them checked and see if the batteries are charged because I think like the uh, pressure gauge, it comes with the batteries in and it's not doesn't look rechargeable. So let's get the iPad out and let's have a look and see exactly if they're charged and if they work. So I've got my iPad set up. Um, it's charging at the moment, so I can't move it from here because the battery is flat. So I'm just going to put it on, and you can see it's not finding any of the TPI products. So I'm just going to press and hold this button so the light starts to flash. And straight away it came up. How quick was that? So SP323, click on that. That's reading room temperature. So it's saying this room is 23.3, well, kind of going down now. So let's do a little experiment. Let's click it onto my finger and see what, if it goes up. What's your body temperature, about 30 degrees? Well, that's going up. So it is actually registering the temperature. And like all the other TPI products, you can create a report with this. 
You can even uh, do a GPS to see where you are. You can email it and you can actually do screenshots and stuff like that uh, with your results. So it's very, very versatile this app. I love this app. It's so easy to use and so versatile. So let's get to the boiler in the training room, which is actually heating this room. And we'll get both of these up and see if it could bring both of them up on the screen. And we'll take it from there. So let's get on with it and get out that door. Now let's try these probes out actually on a central heating system. So we've got it on the boiler here which is working the heating for the centre at the moment. So we've got a flow temperature of 55 degrees. Now as you can see I've got one probe here on the flow, one on the return. So let's click onto the app and find out what we've got. So we've got the SP323, but we've got an ID number of 260 and an ID number of 252. That's how you can tell them apart. So the 260 I've put on the flow and the 252 I've put on the return. So first of all, I need to click on to one of them. So I'll click on the flow first. And that's showing our flow temperature is 53.9 degrees centigrade. Now another thing I found out is if you tap here, you can turn it to Fahrenheit. So it's now 129.3. But we're in the UK, we use centigrade. So let's click back onto the centigrade. So let me come out of that and let's check now the 252 which is on the return it's 46.1 degrees centigrade so that's showing us the difference between our flow and return but I want them both on at the same time and this app allows you to do that first of all let me click on the 260 which is our flow temperature then down at the bottom here it says different temperature to devices. That's the one I want. So if I click on that one, it now says tap to connect the second device. I want the SP323, the 252, which is on the return. And you can now see it's giving me the two readings on the screen. It's giving me 54.2 degrees on the flow and 46.8 degrees on the return, giving me a temperature difference of 7.4, 7.3 degrees C. And these are the live readings what are being sent from the probes to this app. How cool is that? Again, if I want you to create a report for this, I just click on the report but I'm not set up on the iPad. I am on my phone, but I'm not on the iPad because the trainees use the iPad as well. So that isn't set up. But if I come out of that and we go back to our temperature readings. Now the battery life in these probes is about 170 hours. And I believe there are three AAA batteries in each one of these. So this is a great tool for when you're setting up your boilers doing your flow and return. Now I know you're going to say a lot of boilers give you the flow and return temperatures, some just give you the flow. But these probes are amazing for just being able to do our flow and return temperatures when we're filling the benchmark in on our boilers. Now I guess another thing we can use this for as well as our flow and return temperatures is I've got one set up on the cold water going into the boiler and one on the hot water going out. So you can see from here we've got 16.4 degrees coming in on the cold and we've got 45.8 degrees coming out on the hot. We've got a 29.6 degrees difference between the two. Now I've got a temperature probe and flow cup set up on, on the top of there. I have checked the cold water coming in and according to the thermometer I've got at the sink over there, it said it was 15 degrees. And according to the uh, temperature coming out at the tap at the moment, it says it's 46.1 degrees. So not massive difference between here and to the tap. 
between the water temperature and the temperature we got on the pipe. So you could possibly use it for that as well. Well, it's kind of worked in this experiment anyway. So, hopefully you've liked this little video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.